Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're doing an unboxing and review of the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, Target exclusive, The Amazing Spider-Man from Amazing Fantasy Number 1. Um... This I just got in today. I had it on pre-order from Target. I was lucky enough to be there on that day at that moment and uh, grab a one when it went up for pre-order because they are sold out. So uh, let's take a look here. As you can see, we've got the old retro Toy Biz style card back. Uh, Marvel choking hazard, small parts. Don't put Spider Man in your mouth. Let him go. Let him do his job. Just, just don't. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man logo. You got the uh, artwork from the uh, cover of Amazing Fantasy number one. Uh, Hasbro logo in the bottom. Uh, Web wings, uh, multilingual, blah, blah, blah. There you can see the figure and all his spider maniness. And then on the back, we have a blurb about uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, Peter Parker, blah, 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 down at the bottom. Jibbery jabbery legal jargon across the board, ages zero to three, you know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. And Hasbro Marvel, Houses of Klingon, and Barcode. All right, let's get this open. Grab Trusty. Pewp! And usually if I go in from the side right here, I can get that. And here, we'll do it this way. Go in and down. And I got to get that corner. There we go. And a little bit of that corner and that should be enough. Pull this off and get that tray out and there's stuff already going on the floor the webs and we got stupid piece of paper and that webs on the floor too my floor loves accessories num 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 okay set that card aside and and there's all kinds of webs. Oh, he's got the little web thing, too. Let's dump all of those out, and we'll get the this part out. There we go. And we're ready to... Okay. Got everything out. Let's get him on the pedestal and have a look. And here we've got him on the pedestal. Let's have a look at the accessories. First off, we've got two sets of arm webs um, that attach onto him somewhere. Okay, I see little notches. So we have two that are folded here. Um, and uh, you can see the little, uh, the little web design there on them, the little web grid. Uh, so we have those there, and then, and those, these are, these are somewhat of a soft plastic, but not really soft. And then we have a set of splayed out web, uh, arm webs there, and, uh, you can kind of see the detail of the, uh, web grid on those a little bit more. And they do have notches on them. I'm assuming he has notches under his arms or something. Oh, uh, yeah, I see it, yeah. On the inside of his arms uh, so we've got those and then he comes with four sets of hands uh, he's got uh, fisted hands on him by default and then he also comes with uh, the wall crawling hands and get those in focus uh, he's got the wall crawling hands there and then we have the flip hands uh, right here uh, so we have those, and then for a change, and I'm not used to getting a Spider-Man figure that has these, but we have grip hands, I'm assuming for the, uh, the web, uh, lanyard there, the, 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 uh, web strip. Uh, so we have, um, yeah, we've got a set of grip hands, so that's kind of interesting, because I don't have the, I only have a couple of Spider-Mans, uh, 
but I've never seen one that actually comes with uh, grip hands, so that's pretty interesting. And then we have a web, uh, a strip of web with a little hook on the end of it that you can hook onto something uh, with a handle for him to to swing on, which is uh, like how he did it then, and that's kind of weird. Most people would say, why is there a handle? Well, if you look back at that cover, and uh, like some of the older, older original Spider-Man, that's kind of how it wasn't like, you know, he wasn't like, flip, and then grabbing it and then swinging. It was, it was like that. Um, and this is a very soft rubbery, um, and you can see the little notches and everything on the web uh, as, it, as it appeared in the comic. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, this is, uh, this is the first time I've ever gotten a Spider-Man with a web thing. And then here is Spider-Man, a.k.a. Peter Parker. And let's get Mr. Ruler out. And he stands at approximately... Oh, he's bam, right at six inches tall. <laughs> bam, right on it to the tip, tip, tip top of his head. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, sculpt here. First off, we have that... Almost, it's like a deep dark blue, almost black uh, color to the costume. Um, I'm actually, I actually like this a lot more than I thought I would. Um, we've got the blue spider on the back for originality there, because when they brought out that Amazing Fantasy that first time, uh, it didn't have the blue spider. This one actually does. You got the big spider logo on the front there. You got the web with all the black grid in there. All pinless, 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 pinless. Looks great. Um, got that original face sculpt there. Um, actually has the eyes are not, I don't think they're painted on. Yeah, those eyes are actually sculpted in. If you can see there, um, they're not painted on. They are sculpted on. That looks fantastic. I was going to say, that looks amazing. But I didn't want to, you know be that guy but uh it looks fantastic um it really does uh really good job there uh going down to the red you've got the i don't i can't really tell if it's black or really dark blue but i mean it's very it, it looks like it he did on the front of the cover um down to the boots where we got more of the red and the black grid uh on the boots there uh, let's look at articulation, because this is going to be a trip. I bet this is going to be a 10 out of 10, because um, this looks really good. First off, we've got uh, the head is a static neck with a uh, ball hinge going up into the head, giving us way far back. Holy crap. And then way down as well. That is nuts. Um, we've got a tiny, teeny bit of tilt there, but not much. Um, head will rotate all the way around, obviously. Arms up into the T formation here. Um, seems like right about to there. Maybe a little more. I don't want to force it because I don't want to break that pin in the uh, bicep swivel there. But we do have butterfly joints uh, on the shoulders as well, right behind the hinge, um, taking you all the way back to there and then forward to there. Um, the arms have a bicep swivel and a double elbow going all the way <laughs> to there, damn. Um, we have no gauntlet swivel, but there is a, uh, wrist swivel with hinge in and out, uh, on the, um, well, I mean, it's in and out, but it's, it's also up and down depending on how you, uh, how you position them. Um, damn, this is nice. Uh, we've got a ball joint mid torso for some ab crunch there and a little bit of hula hoop or a little bit of twist action. Uh, and then we also have a hinge at the waist. No waist swivel, but you don't really need it because you do have that, even though that that uh, red on the on the chest there kind of gets off center uh, with that. Uh, legs, here we go. Legs out to there. Oh, actually, I thought it was going to be a little bit more than that. So legs out to there. Is it a drop-down ball joint? It is not a drop-down ball joint. 
Uh, but we do have a thigh swivel, and then we have a double knee going all the way back to there, and the boot swivel there with detents on the feet, and a forward rocker. This is fantastic. This is a great... Let's put the webs on his arms here. Um, so we've got, yeah, you got a notch right there in the arm. And let's see, I think this is the one that should go on this. I don't know if these attach to that. No, I think it's just either or. So this, yeah, so this one would go on this arm. So that would attach there. And this one would attach onto that arm. I think that's right. It looks like... Oh, damn it. My floor, it's just like, feed me accessories! Oh, I picked up a dog hair. Um... Do I have those backwards? I may have those backwards. No, that should be right. So yeah, we've got, uh, I don't know that I will display him with these, uh, but they are there if you want them. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say that that's, yeah, yeah, I'll just leave them off. Um, so, uh, let's pop him off the pedestal and we'll line him up with some other characters and we'll see how he scales up. All right, here we've got him with the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper version 2, the Medico Moffex Return of the Jedi version Boba Fett, the Mezco 112th Collective Superman Man of Steel edition, and the Mattel DC Universe Classics Batman. Um, all in all, I am thoroughly impressed with this. The only thing I would add would be a waist swivel to this, but, you know, with that ball joint mid-torso... Um, you really don't need it. Um, 10 out of 10 on this. This is a fantastic action figure, and it's amazing because it's Spider-Man. I'm thoroughly loving this. This is just like uh just like my retro carded Spider-Man. Um the the uh the the original, basically almost exactly like this, only in the red and blue, uh more modern, like silver age, uh bronze age version. Um well done, Hasbro. Well done. Well done. Uh, great looking figure. Um, nice accessories. The web arm things, there's, nah, you know, if you want them on there, you put them on there. If not, they're a nice addition to have if you like that. So that will do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information about all the good things coming out of my channel. You all have yourselves a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.